Hi friends! It is I, your art teacher, Miss Claire. Today we are going to be making a salty scene. That probably sounds pretty mysterious. The materials we will need today, some paper. If you don't have white paper, that's okay too. If you have color paper or something with a little bit of pattern, that's all right. We're doing another project that is process art, which means we're more interested in how it works than we are the final product. So we're going to use what we have at home. So some paper. You are also going to need some salt. I also have washable markers. So we want to have some washable markers. Now I also need a little bit of water. So I've got my cup of water and a paintbrush to move our water. Now if you don't have a paintbrush, um, you can just use your fingers, really. It might stain your fingers a little bit, but you know, it's art and it all will wash off. So part of art is being a little bit messy. So what we are going to do is we are going to start by looking around where we are. So when I said we're going to make a salty scene, what I meant was we are going to make a scene using colors from around us. And this is going to be a little bit abstract as a picture, which means that it doesn't have to look like anything in particular. So we're gonna be more interested in color and shape than we are um, the design or the pattern. So we're going to use what is in the scene around us. So wherever you are, I want you to look around and see what colors are around you. So for me, you can see that my kitchen is a sort of light blue green. So. This is a color that I see around me a lot right now. So I'm thinking about this color. Now, just look around and see what colors pop out to you. So I've also got some darker green. I have some plants in here. So I'm going to be using a green color. I'm looking around and see what else I have in here. I have got a lot of blue and green. So maybe I'll use more blue. Um, I see a couple pops of red. You know, I've got some, you might see some Tupperware back there. Um, I see a red bowl over here, so I've got some red. Isn't it funny when we kind of look around and we're just looking for color, it changes the way that we look at things. It makes it a little bit different as an experience. Um, I also have my yellow cup here, so probably want some yellow. Oh, I also have my green water bottle, so I'm gonna pull green for that. And we can always find more colors later. I do have a little bit of pink on my chairs. I'm not sure if you can see my seat, but it's pink and brown. So I'm gonna bring a little pink in. So we're creating a scene just using colors that are where we are right now. So whatever colors are around you, try to find a, a washable marker that is close to it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we don't have every color necessarily in our markers. <clears throat> so we're making an abstract artwork and Similar to our last project, we're going to use some water to blend it a little bit. Not as much as last time, but a little bit. So don't worry about the shapes as much as you're worried about the colors and, and how they make you feel. So sometimes when we do abstract artwork, we think about our feelings and trying to get our feelings onto paper. So now that I've pulled all these colors that are around me, this is my scene. This is where I am right now. I'm in my kitchen. These are my kitchen colors that I found. I'm just going to start making some shapes. So shapes are a really good place to start. And they don't have to be shapes of anything. They don't have to be squares. They don't have to be circles, but maybe they are. So take the colors that you found around you wherever you are, and we're just going to start making some shapes and making an abstract artwork about some of how the colors make us feel. And there's no right or wrong with this because we're also gonna you know, change it a little bit with some water and some salt. So we can just get started in drawing and seeing how we feel about it. So I pulled this from my water bottle. I'm gonna just kind of make some shapes. Now you might've noticed the way that I work is I am always just making little sections of color. And that might be the way that you do stuff when you make abstract artwork, but maybe it's not, that's okay. You know, and then I have my, my green for plants, so I might do a little bit of a, a weirder shape for that. They don't have to be connected to, you know, the original shape, but maybe they, maybe you want them to be. 
So I did have a water bottle that was green and I kind of made a shape similar to my water bottle. Maybe I'll make a similar shape to my cup. My yellow cup, yellow cup. We're kind of taking a snapshot of the scene around us without the actual scene. We're using the colors to express the scene. All right. I remember I had some red in here. I don't know how you, you all color, but sometimes when I color shapes, I find it really helpful to make the outline. I'm gonna show you again what I just did because it's a habit I've created at this point. Now, what I do, if I make this shape, okay? Now I plan to color this all in, and then I go back and forth. Might be hard for you to see. Do you see how I've almost filled in that whole shape? I just go back and forth, and it allows me to have a really clean shape. If you color differently, that's also fine. I'm just showing you the way that I do things sometimes. I got some shapes on here. I am missing some colors because the room I'm in has a lot of this color. I better get this color on here. I might call this seafoam green. I think it's actually the color that it's called. I am in a seafoam green room. I'm curious what colors are around you. I have no orange around me, except for me and my scarf. But I bet that some of you have orange. I just have a little bit of pink in my chair seat, so I might get to do some, just some squiggles. Because I bet all of our scenes would look really, really different. I bet where we are has all different colors, which is pretty cool. It's neat that we're working together, but we're in different places. Now, I also saw some blue. You can't see the blue, but I have some uh, containers over there that have blue on them, so I'm just going to do some... You know, I'm gonna do some squiggles. Because some of our abstract artwork, you know, I'm making shapes based on my feelings or colors, but maybe I want something to be different. So I don't want all my shapes to be the same. It's getting pretty wild over here. My picture's getting a little bit wild. This is my abstract scene. How many colors I haven't used from around me? Add one more yellow shape and I think I feel pretty good about it. Now I've left a lot of white space on my paper, which you can do if you want to, that's up to you. Now remember, anything that's touching might get a little bit blended. Because part of what we're gonna do today is add some water. Now remember, this is process art. So we're more interested in how we're making it. It doesn't have to turn out perfectly. And sometimes that's what art is about, is that we are surprised by our end result. And that's okay because we learned something along the way. We enjoyed how we made it. We enjoyed the process. I know all, I've seen all of you be very excited about something that you're working on and you are so interested in making it that you don't want to stop because the process of making it is such a fun experience. So I want us to think about that today. If this turns out not how you wanted it to be in the very end, that's okay because I bet you had fun making it. So try to remember that as we go along. Now, I have my picture, and I am going to be adding some water. And I'm gonna blend it a little bit. Now, some washable markers don't bleed as much, meaning that they're not gonna change as much with water, and that's okay, because we're all gonna find out what our markers do. It's a little bit of an experiment. Now, I've also brought the salt, and I think you might remember our pinch and sprinkle technique, right? Where I make a bowl, I'm gonna put some salt here, and I am gonna sprinkle it. So similar to how it is done before, it's gonna change our picture, it's gonna change the colors. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I've got my salt nearby. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of water on some of my shapes, and we're gonna see if anything blends. All right, so my pink is sort of bleeding. My blue's not bleeding as much, but that's okay. It's all an experiment here. And now I've got a lot of red in my paintbrush, so we'll see what happens. Now remember what happens when we make a puddle. We wanna be careful not to make a puddle because our paper will tear. Now, I have done a pretty good portion with water here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to do a bowl. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Now, I'm going to sprinkle it on here. Now, I don't know if you remember, but a lot of times we don't see what happens with the salt until we give it a little bit of time. So I'm just going to put some salt over this, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to keep going. Now, I'm doing a little bit at a time to make sure that I put salt on it while it's still wet. So I don't want to wait to the very end. I want to kind of do it as I go. It's kind of neat to see what's happening because... You're, you know, we're never sure what's going to happen when we're making this stuff. Okay, I'm enjoying this. <clears throat> now, I know that together we have done some experiments with salt and painting before, so it's pretty cool to see what's going to happen. This is pretty fun. I hope you're having as good a time as I am making your salty scene just from what's around you. And you've probably noticed that I'm painting some with water and then I'm stopping to add some salt because I don't wanna wait till the very end. I wanna make sure it's all absorbing. And for those of you who have done the salt project with me a little bit before, you might remember that it just really changes our painting. Sort of like a science experiment. But we might need to wait, so it's probably not gonna happen right away, and I'm not gonna worry about it. I did this part, and I moved on. I put some salt here, and now I'm doing something else. And I'm sort of noticing that some of my colors are bleeding better than others, and that's okay. Give myself a little bit more salt. Just a little, I don't need very much. Put it on the wet painting. Just got a little bit more. You know, all markers are gonna act a little bit different too. So depending on what your mark what kind of markers you're using, yours might turn out totally different. Now remember, no puddle. We do not want a puddle on our painting. So we don't want to tear it. We don't want to tear our beautiful, salty scenes. Now, we also don't want to maybe do this on a, a wood surface or something where we could stain it, any of the colors coming through. So you might want to use a tray underneath this or another piece of paper. I'm gonna just tap a little bit of this. Just tap it a little. Now, you might remember what salt does to our picture. So when it's dry, it is gonna look really different. Do you see that? That is sprinkles of salt that has changed it. So that's what's gonna happen when this is dry. And right now it's not doing very much, but remember, gotta have patience for this stuff. Okay. What do you think of my salty scene? Do you like it? You probably don't want to tilt yours up because you might lose some of your delightful salt, which is then going to change your picture. So probably want to keep it pretty flat until it is dry. I'm going to add a little bit more salt here, just in case. Because I like experiments. Ooh, I can already see some of my salt working. Let me see if I can show you. Down here in the yellow, no, I can't really see it. Sorry, I wish I could transfer all of this so easily. Okay, so this is our salty scene that we've made today. And I want to let this dry, and then it will be finished. And when it's dry, I can hold it over a garbage can and kind of brush off the salt because I don't need it anymore. And then you will have a salty scene from today. So thank you for joining me and making some art with me today. It was really nice to see all of you, and I can't wait for us to be together again. I hope that you had a good time making a salty scene and that you had fun with the process because it's not always about making the, it's not about the end result, it's about making the artwork. So I hope that all of you are doing well and spending time with your families and you are healthy and happy and I will see you sometime soon and I can't wait, but until then, 
Enjoy your time, make some art, and be well.